So what are the dangers of passive regression hypnosis? Jenny Gockel, who spontaneously remembered some of her past lives as a child and also went for passive regression hypnosis, has this to say. Mostly, I think you are supposed to forget your past lives. I think you're supposed to be able to forget and live this life. So that's your first danger. If you go for past life regression hypnosis and remember some of your past lives, they may intrude into your present life. Jenny remembered a past life in which she had died young after giving birth to her eighth child. Her husband in that past lifetime had been an abusive drunk, so she was afraid for the children and babies she left behind. What would happen to them? Well, in this lifetime, she still had that fear for her children that she'd left behind when she died early in that previous lifetime. In this lifetime, she went to the place she remembered in her past life looking for her children. She knew that they would be grown up now, and in fact, they'd be older than she was, and she found them. And the beautiful thing is, she brought them all together because what she discovered was that after she died in that past life, for the most part, they'd been farmed out into orphanages. And some of them didn't even know if the rest of the children had lived. So in this life, she rounded them up and basically brought her children together again. This is a wonderful example of a mother's love lasting through lifetimes. And it's taken me this long <laughs> to be able to resolve enough of my past lives that I can now feel I can live in the present. Hello, hello, hello. It's Carol Ann Chapman, and I'm the author of When We Were Gods, which is a chronicle of my past life memories of the lost city of Atlantis. I received a comment to one of my videos on my memories of Atlantis from Vijay Surya Aditya. He said, your regression sounds fascinating. It is something I've often considered, but alas, I lack the courage. Well, Vijay, you're not the only one. Many people wonder, what was I in a past life? Do past lives exist? Is reincarnation real? But when it comes to going to a past life regression hypnosis, I asked a number of people after I received your comment, and one man said he was afraid that he would go crazy if he was hypnotized, or he would act in a crazy way. So you are not the only one. However, I, on the other hand, when I went to the hypnotherapist, I was so desperate because I had a physical problem. I had been gaining a pound a day because of a hormonal imbalance. And even though I had my fears, I really didn't care. I just really hoped that I would get some help. In addition, my hypnotherapist was very well qualified and had come highly recommended. Nonetheless, as a result of Vijay's comment, I wondered, are there dangers to past life regression hypnosis? So I did a search online and guess what? I found there actually are. And there's three main dangers. Now the first one has to do with being hypnotized itself. Second has to do with the process of the past life regression hypnosis. And the third one has to do with the after effects of the past life regression hypnosis. So today I'm going to look at how to minimize the dangers of past life regression hypnosis. But before I do that, let's take a look at the dangers. All right, number one, the dangers of being hypnotized. To begin, what is hypnosis? It's a relaxed state of mind similar to a trance in which a person is open to suggestion. Do you know that hypnosis became popular in the early 1800s due to a physician named Franz Mesmer? That's why hypnosis originally was called mesmerism. Today, hypnosis is used in clinical practice 
to help with such conditions as irritable bowel syndrome, menopause, and to stop smoking. It's also used in childbirth to help manage pain and fear. All right, number one, the dangers of being hypnotized. The Cleveland Clinic says to take a look at your mental stability before you even consider being hypnotized. Because if you are severely mentally ill, for example, schizophrenic, bipolar, or deeply depressed, it's not a really good idea to undergo any kind of hypnosis. In addition, keep away from hypnosis if you have hallucinations, meaning if you see things that nobody else sees. And also keep away from hypnosis if you have delusions, and that means believing things that nobody else believes. By the way, did you see Lars and the Real Girl? It's a great comedy movie starring Ryan Gosling. In the movie, he falls in love with a life-size doll of a woman. He actually believes the doll is a real woman. Hey, I have a visitor. Where did you meet this person? I met her on the internet. Yeah, well, everybody's doing that now. Now that is a delusion. Finally, hypnosis might not be a good idea for those people who misuse drugs and alcohol. But where does past life regression come in to hypnosis? As it turns out, as long ago as 200 BCE, a Hindu scholar used something called reverse birthing to help people relieve themselves of the accumulation of the karma of their many past lives. You might have heard of the word karma. Well, it could be defined as your fate or destiny as a result of your actions in your previous lifetimes. So, it turns out that past life regression has been around for over 2,000 years. Recently, past lives became popular in the early 1900s in the United States because of a psychic called Edgar Cayce. He originally would go into a trance and give readings while he was in trance. He could self-hypnotize himself and he would give these readings for people who requested his help. These would be health readings and he would talk about what was wrong with their uh, systems and their body and then he would give suggestions for how to heal their problems and there were many successes. Now it was during one of these readings that he mentioned someone's past life and after that people wanted to have readings about their past lives. But past life regression hypnosis didn't really explode in the United States until Bridie Murphy. In 1952, a young woman allowed herself to be hypnotized during a party. And to everyone's surprise, when she was hypnotized, she ended up going to a past life in which her name was Bridie Murphy and she was in Ireland. Wow! This caused a sensation. The newspapers picked it up. A book was written about it. People started having come-as-you-were parties. There was a cocktail invented called the Reincarnation Cocktail. Basically, there was a huge uproar suddenly about past lives. And of course, then there were detractors who said it had to be a hoax. She made the whole thing up. And even though she went to Ireland or someone went to Ireland, they explored the places she'd been. And for the most part, she was accurate. These detractors actually gave the whole subject of past life regression, a whole bunch of energy and a whole bunch of press. So now that we've gone over the history of past life regression hypnosis, 
Let's go on to the dangers associated with the past life regression hypnosis session. Probably the biggest danger you'll face in a past life regression is that you will have a memory of a lifetime in which something really challenging happened to you. For example, how Jenny Cockle remembered dying in her past life. And there might be other shocking things that come into your memory, violence, terrifying things, wars, things like that. In my past life memories of Atlantis, I was shocked to discover, for example, that I could levitate. Another danger you may face in the actual session of your past life regression hypnosis is that the person conducting the hypnosis may lead the patient on. For example, they may ask a question such as, what kind of town are you in? Well, it might turn out that the person is remembering not a town, but a forest, or a cathedral, or a barn. And they will get confused since they're so highly suggestible in that hyp hypnotic state and may think, oh, I should be in a town. And that would confuse them. So that's another danger of past life regression hypnosis. Something that I felt afraid of before I went for my first past life regression hypnosis was that the hypnotherapist could control my mind. However, I did have an example of how much in control of the session I really was. During one of my sessions, I was remembering a very, very pleasant past life. However, right in the middle of it, the hypnotherapist said to me, Oh my goodness, I see that I'm going to have to leave soon to pick my son up at the school bus. So she said, Carol, would you like me to just leave you in this hypnotized state, remembering this wonderful experience you have? Or would you rather I took you out of the hypnosis? And I thought, gosh, if she goes off, to pick her son up, you never know what could happen. I said, to her, I'd please just take me out of the hypnosis, which she did. So I learned from that, that, you know, considering that you have a really ethical, very experienced and competent hypnotherapist, you don't have to worry about them taking over your mind. And in fact, you yourself, while you're hypnotized, are capable of thinking and making decisions. In fact, some mental health practitioners use past life regression hypnosis to heal problems people have in this present lifetime. For example, when I got to my past life memories of Atlantis, after that, I stopped gaining a pound a day. Basically, my hormonal imbalance was healed. And I was so thankful because I'd already been to four doctors and they hadn't been able to help me. So another danger of past life regression hypnosis is the person may feel as if they're making things up while they're hypnotized. They may come to a lifetime that is shocking to them. For example, if they are in this lifetime a woman, a dainty, kind, loving kind of woman, they might find that in the past life, they were a big, burly, strong, aggressive man. And it just may make them feel this just can't be so. I must be making it up. And watch to the end for ways of minimizing the dangers of past life regression hypnosis. All right, so now let's go on to what are the dangers that you could encounter after the past life regression hypnosis session. It turns out that a very small percentage of people may feel after they come out of the hypnosis, anxiety, headaches, dizziness. Another danger you may encounter after the past life regression session is that your loved ones, your family, your friends, may 
totally disagree with past lives, they may believe that you must be crazy because they don't believe in reincarnation. Even though over half the world believes in reincarnation, in the West, most people do not. Therefore, if you want to talk to somebody about your past lives, they may cut you off. You may end up having to keep your past life memories a secret. Here's what Jenny Cockle had to say about other people's reactions to past life memories. But you're never going to convince everybody because people have different opinions. Um, and people sometimes find the whole thing so uncomfortable. So all you can do in anything like this is say, well, this is what happens, this is what happened to me, Exp express it all, lay it all on the table, um, make your own mind up. On that note, your past life memories might be so intense that you will begin to wonder if you are delirious, that you have seen something that isn't real. Remember Lars and the real girl? Since everyone you know tells you you must have made up the memories or it was just your imagination or reincarnation doesn't exist, after a while you may begin to believe them and say, well, I must have just made it up and it didn't exist at all. Actually, that happened to me. I was pretty sure that I must be crazy because the past life memories of Atlantis were just so outrageous. I went to my doctor and I said, I'm crazy. And he said, Carol, I've known you for a long time. Believe me, you are not crazy. However, it wasn't until I traveled to Yucatan and then Egypt and found images in the ruins there of my memories of Atlantis that I began to really believe that I'm not really crazy, that I've just remembered something that's so long ago and so different that we today can't really comprehend it. Of course, as Jenny Cockle said at the beginning of this video, your past life memories may begin to intrude in this lifetime. For example, how I traveled to Yucatan and Egypt looking for proof or indications that what I'd remembered weren't so crazy. And uh, actually, I don't feel bad at all about my memories intruding into this present lifetime. In fact, I feel as if it was meant to be because, to tell you the truth, I had dreams of my past life memories of Atlantis before I went to the hypnotherapist. How do you minimize the difficulties and dangers associated with past life regression hypnosis to begin? As far as the dangers of knowing that your past life memories might begin to intrude into your present lifetime, that your friends and family may not believe in reincarnation and will not support you, that you might think you're delusional and you're crazy and that you're making things up. Well, those are the risks of past life regression hypnosis. And whether you want to go ahead with it or not is going to be your decision. Because you're going to have to weigh, do the benefits of knowing who I was in my past life and knowing how that past life affects this life now. You're going to have to weigh that against these difficulties that you encounter. But these other dangers that you will encounter, something unexpected, frightening, or challenging in the past life regression, such as your death in a previous lifetime, or what about the danger that the person conducting the past life regression hypnosis may lead you on and you're going to remember something that you're not even remembering? Well, I said it at the beginning of this video, my hypnotherapist came very highly recommended and had a lot of experience. Plus, in my first session with her, we first talked and I felt very safe with her and that I could trust her. This is very important. 
Therefore, only engage with someone who is competent and that you feel comfortable with. Make sure you see a hypnotherapist who is proficient, comfortable, and experienced with past life regression. Many hypnotists and hypnotherapists do not believe in past lives and do not have training or experience in past life regression. They only do conventional hypnotherapy. Whatever you do, don't allow yourself to be hypnotized at a party as a prank or go to one of these events where there's a person speaking to an audience who's going to hypnotize everybody in the audience. Don't think, oh, this is a lot cheaper than paying a qualified hypnotherapist. In my humble opinion, it is not worth the risk. But what do you do if you don't know a qualified hypnotherapist with a lot of experience? Well, according to the Cleveland Clinic, they recommend that you can find a qualified hypnotherapist. So they suggest that you can ask your healthcare provider for a referral. They may know someone. Or that when you're searching that you Make sure that this person has qualifications as a license in hypnotherapy, that they're a member of the American Society of Clinical Hypnosis, or that they're a member of the Society for Clinical and Experimental Hypnosis. In the meantime, do you know that you don't have to go to a hypnotherapist to remember your past lives? You can also get memories of past lives in your dreams, remember? I at first had my memories of Atlantis in my dreams. Well, you might have already had a dream of your past life or lives and didn't even know it. There are also indications of your past lifetimes in your present life. For example, your talents, your preference of where to live, and your difficulties in this life can point to a past life. If you're not ready to undertake past life regression hypnosis yet, take a look at my playlist of videos on how you can find in your dreams and your waking life clues to your past lives. Good luck, good memories, toodaloo, bye-bye. <laughs>